Bayern Munich have come out to categorically state that they are not going to be taking on Roberto Di Zabi as their new manager. This just hours after the Brighton boss confirmed that he will be leaving the club at the end of the season. Now, isn't this a football script, classic football being scripted? Because this announcement comes out on the eve of the last Brighton game at home, taking on Manchester United, whose manager is under pressure linked to a move away with Dezabi, one of the front runners for Ineos to come in and replace him. Guys, what exactly is going on? Welcome to the Netherlands Sport. My name is Webb. Here is an interesting one. It's a preview, of course, of that game against uh, this uh, Brighton team that beat us in the first uh, leg by three goals to one. We are about nine points clear of them. They have not had a good season, but if you know a thing about football, you would know that this is not about their position on the pile. It doesn't matter whether Eric Ten Hag's team is above uh, uh, Brighton. You cannot uh, rule out the fact that De Zabri is a good coach and he can actually be a manager of interest to Manchester United. And I've heard people saying it can't be United. And I'm thinking, you probably don't follow football. First of all, Manchester United is up to now waiting on Dan Ashworth, a guy who worked at Brighton. They have poached guys from Man City. How on earth do you, would you think they wouldn't poach from Brighton? First of all, don't think that Dizabi was sacked. Certainly, he's not going to leave and you know, go jobless. He's one of the most wanted managers. There are so many clubs looking for managers from Bayern Munich who have come out to deny him. Juventus just sacked Maximiliano Allegri. He has worked in Italy before. So for me, it is either actually between it's either United or Juventus taking him on because probably by the time Juventus went on and decided to sack him. Uh, to suck my allegory, they had got a, got, got a solution. If it's not Juventus, guys, don't rule out the possibility that Dizabi might be brought as the Eric Ten Hag replacement. Because uh, just think about it. Think about the script. Think about how it all looks. And Ineos have been going on because uh, Dizabi has uh, a buyout clause definitely in his contract with Brighton because he still had a running contract. He had only been at Brighton for only two years, really. Uh, you remember he just replaced uh, uh, Graham Potter just a few a few years ago and he came in and brought something exciting you see whether you like it or not and it's not about titles Dizabri is one of the best upcoming managers in football he's up there with uh, uh jabi alonso yes alonso has won the bundesliga but with the bayer Leverkusen, if you gave brighton uh, rather Dizabri a team better than brighton because to win the premier league is not that you are you are such a good manager and you should be able to win with any team with Ip ipswich for example, because you're a good manager. No, you need a certain level, of, uh, a certain financial muscle to get the best players to compete. But if he could do and uh, coach a team to play football the way Brighton has been playing, producing players and selling them, top players, players selling them uh, very expensively, that, that is the kind of manager Ineos want. Ineos want a manager who is going to get young players, improve them, and sell them for a, at a fee, but also competing and win, winning titles. That was clear, according to uh, to Sir Jim Ratcliffe, when he came and took over. He was being asked about Kylian Mbappe and stuff. And he said, oh, we want Man United to be now the one forming the Kylian Mbappes. Get these players young and groom them. And Dizabi, I honestly, if you compare Dizabi to Eric Ten Hag in terms of ability to groom young players, certainly Dizabi has shown he probably is a better manager. You had just a few... Uh, I think a couple of months ago, uh, uh, Boateng, Kevin Priest Boateng was speaking with uh, Rio Ferdinand, talking about him when they worked together at, uh, I think, uh, they worked together, I think, at uh, Sassuolo, I think. That's where he managed him for a small time. Uh, and he said this, this, this manager is so hands-on that he, t he plays with the players. And you see, those are the good modern managers today. Pep Guardiola is a bit like that. Jabi Alonso is like that. The modern managers today play... Uh, they, they involve themselves in, in the training and, you know, they are lively and he's a head coach and that's exactly what Ineos is looking for. People forget that Ineos is looking uh, for, for, for a head coach because they are forming a structure where there is no manager per se, but a head coach. They want someone who is going to focus entirely on the football. So it, they need a guy who is going to teach players how to play football. Those who are, have potential teach them to be uh, to be uh, better. It's actually not, uh, he was uh, he was with Abouate, not at Sassol, it was Sal uh, Salani in Tana. I think that's where, that's, that's, that, uh, that, that's why he, he, no, it was Sassuolo. It was Sassuolo. Uh, so, I was right. Uh, sorry, I, I wanted to first uh, clarify that and be sure. So, 
this guy Boateng was saying that he would come in training and just play with the players and he's so energetic he has a certain energy that he passes on to players that he improves players he will improve you by force when it, it's a, he's a good character but when it times to play he means business and all players will play for him we've seen it in brighton that's why he has been a very very exciting manager since he, since he joined the premier league so you cannot sit there and say he can't join United just because you're used to Manchester United having all the big names. And honestly, if you think about it, the big names have come and failed. So, and I'm not here trying to advocate for Disabri to take over, but I'm just responding to people who are complete, completely ruling out the possibility of Disabri being the next Manchester United manager. I'm saying you don't align yourselves. You have not tried to educate yourselves well with what Ineos is trying to build at Man United. All the old guys have, have failed. They have changed the structure. You don't change the structure and you still hire like the past. You hire for the previous structure. The reason why uh, uh, the Glazers kept hiring these you know, big so-called high-profile managers is because they thought maybe the high-profile manager would sort everything by, by themselves. But if you change a structure and put in place a good structure, bring the kind of manager who can work in that structure. The structure Ineos is forming is create a direction and have a head coach who is going to be pragmatic, who will be, you know, hands-on with the players. Eric Ten Hag is quite not that. Dezabri is that kind of manager. Pep Guardiola is that kind of manager, and yet it has worked. Jabi Alonso is that kind of manager, and it's working with Bayer Leverkusen. So the modern manager is probably more Dezabri, or Dezabi, than Eric Ten Hag. So we cannot completely rule out that possibility. But of course, I'm not here to confirm it, but... Let's wait. Ineos has poached for Man City. We can't say it's rocket science for them to poach 10 million pounds or even less to Brighton to get a manager like Lizabi for a project that they have uh, they, they, they believe uh, in so, so much. They would pay that. They would really afford that. So, uh, but uh, it's coming, of course. Uh, but but uh, the, 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 the only then uh, what it would be. But of course, uh, that's if you take the Brighton game so important. For me, I take it as a warm-up game for the FA Cup final. But if you take it important, you might want to be worried because you expect these players to give their all at home, the fans to shout for send off this guy in style. I think they, they, they were intentional in choosing to make the announcement to, uh, today before that game against Man United to just psych up the entire atmosphere for themselves and make it extremely difficult for Manchester United. Whereas I think Manchester United can win the game if they come and turn up because we've got players, certain players coming back, uh, Varen and Lindelof, I'm hoping one of them will come and partner Alessandro Martinez in, in the central defense so that Casemiro is released of the struggles in the, in, in the defense. Uh, but if, if Brighton come with the fans you know, uh, chanting and you know, uh, uh, pushing from the start to the end, the players all obviously love uh, Dizabi, they want to send him off well. You're thinking it will be a very difficult atmosphere for Manchester United. That's why Eric Ten Hag has got to do, uh, get certain things right. But uh, in terms of the game, uh, the one change I expect in the even weather, uh, by the weather, uh, 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 the, the, the central defense uh, you know, has to change, whether Casemiro goes back in the middle or not, I'm hoping that Ganacho, most importantly, is given some time off. He has played one game too many. He has become blunt. He's lost short of ideas, short of creativity. And it looks ugly on him. He needs some bit of rest to be fresh for the FA Cup final, probably, if he can come out there and uh, try and perform. But even the FA Cup final, I'm thinking, if Eric Ten Hag can just try and come humble himself and switch the style, he can still come off the bench because we've got a new boy in Ahmad. And in the FA Cup final, we need to be more compact. So we need more people who can play in the middle than wide players, if you ask me. But anyhow, that's it. My prediction of the game, I'll give it to you in my morning video tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's my take on the Dizabi situation. I think it's possible. I think it's between Juventus and Manchester United. If Juventus also come out to deny him, guys, just start thinking of, Ma of, of Dizabi as a Manchester United boss. My name is Webb. Subscribe and I'll catch you later.